funny. I love you. Aw, thanks. I love you too. What's up, guys? It's Ghost Queen. How are you, all my spooky little friends? It's Moody Monday. <gasps> Monday, we're waiting on Mustang Sally. <laughs> I thought I would do a quick video and say hello um, as I sit here waiting to see what happens with this tropical storm Sally that is, you know, forecast to become a hurricane. And first it was headed straight for New Orleans and um, they were telling us really to prep. and. They were uh, telling people outside of the levee protection system that they really had a mandatory evacuation. Um, then last night, late, late last night, they were saying it really looked like um, the storm had shifted to the west and was not going to be heading straight for New Orleans. I don't know. This morning, I'm sort of not really up on what's happening at the moment because they're still saying it should be affecting southeastern Louisiana and New Orleans. Um, they have flood warnings, all sorts of warnings going on in New Orleans. So I think we're still just in the wait and see period because these things can shift and can change. And so you don't really know exactly what's going to happen and the impacts until sort of the last minute. Um, it is gray here in New Orleans, although we're getting like you know, sun peeking through too. Um, little periods of gray, little periods of sun, clouds, whatever. And it's definitely breezy and um, more windy than usual, but that's about it thus far. Haven't had any rain or anything like that yet. So we're watching to see what the storm does. Um, but I also wanted to talk about something else this morning. You know, I do not like Onision or his um, transgender husband, Kai previously known as Laney, Laneybot, um, and Taylor. I do not like this couple. I feel that they are dangerous to a vulnerable community as groomers. Now, I saw that Onision uploaded a video, I guess yesterday, um, still sort of proclaiming his innocence and actually claiming that he and his husband, um, are victims of rape. This is so absurd and preposterous and he still has such a lack of accountability that I just feel I need to point it out. Um, if you're a parent of a teenage daughter, I suggest you don't let this person watch Onision. Really, his husband is no longer in the public eye, um, which I feel is pretty cowardly. And um, so I don't think you have much to worry about with that one. Although you never know what she, what he's doing behind the scenes. But however, um, Onision's still very public and still trying to continue his platform on YouTube, on Twitter, OnlyFans account now. He's on Twitch now as well. You know, he's going into other areas. And I do feel like this is an individual that, you know, really has shown no signs of accountability or remorse or really understanding how he and his partner's behavior has been inappropriate. He talks a lot about morals and ethics and that sort of thing and of course he's very upset about the fact that he's been canceled and that Chris Hansen came after him and whatnot. I have seen zero accountability, responsibility, Etc. and I do feel that they did groom an underage girl, okay? They took a, a sort of a parental role in her life, brought her into their home, and then had sex with her, okay? So to me, that's grooming. Maybe they have a different definition, um, but if you would like to in educate yourself about this character and why he gets so much hate and why he's, you know, on this um, sort of, you know, kick to um, protest his innocence and portray himself as an actual victim, uh, I'm going to leave some links in the description of this video to some videos you can watch to educate yourself rather than tell the whole story, rehash it all here. So check it out. Um, I do feel like this is a person 
you know, I'm really starting to wonder if he does have sort of like a, you know, sociopathic personality disorder, um, just because of the lack of accountability and, you know, the gaslighting and, uh, as I say, actually portraying himself and his partner as the victim, which I think is very much not the case. Um, just do not feel like this is a real quality human being. I feel he can be dangerous to younger people, and um, I don't want to sound the alert. So, yeah, check out the videos to educate yourself about this individual if you don't know who he is. Um, yeah. So, that's about it for today. Um, like I say, here in New Orleans, we're just on storm watch. It is hurricane season. This does happen a lot. Um, I did it. Uh, once again, I had a couple of people offer to get me out of the city, but riding out the storm. Love it here. <laughs> Don't want to leave my home. So I'm staying and we'll see what happens, but um, I'll try to post some updates and keep you posted what the weather's doing here in New Orleans. And um, I did bop around the French Quarter last night. People were out, the Saints had a win, so of course there were a few people out sort of celebrating and everything, but you know, not really busy. Um, pretty quiet in the French Quarter last night, and um, I think everybody's just staying put at home, waiting to see what happens. With Sally, which is a tropical storm, forecast to turn into a Category 1 or 2 hurricane and hit southeastern Louisiana. So, yeah. I'll try to post some updates. If it gets really sort of stormy, I'm sure I'll be filming and maybe I'll post some of that here on YouTube. Anyway, hope you all have a great Monday start to the week. And um, on another note, I am also going to post the suicide hotline um, in the link to, uh, in the description of this video. Um, once again, you know, I have been speaking to several people lately who are really struggling through this pandemic, dealing with a lot of depression, dealing with relapse, um, all sorts of issues. So I'm going to post a couple links here. Uh, you know, it's a hard time. I keep saying this. It's a really hard time for people. And um, I do worry that people are going to deal more and more with this sort of thing, um, depression, relapse suicidal idealization and that sort of thing um, because it's a tough time. People are struggling. <clears throat> they're struggling financially. Um, they're struggling emotionally. You know, all sorts of issues because of this pandemic. So please, you know, reach out. Um, if you need somebody to talk to, my inbox is always open and I don't mind talking somebody off the ledge if they're feeling down and whatnot. So, be safe, be happy, be loving, be compassionate, be empathetic. Um, kiss your loved ones, tell them everything you want to say because you never know which day is your last day or theirs, especially now. Make love, not war. Don't let the demons bite. And um, until next time, I bid you adieu. See you soon.